Welcome back. This is Retirement News Online. Start investing early and sensibly, save, and then delay retirement as late as possible. That's the conventional wisdom about retirement planning we're hearing these days. But you should also consider what your income needs will be in retirement. Here to talk about this is my guest, Philip White with Retirement Logistics from Springfield, Missouri. Good to see you, Philip. Thanks for joining us. Why don't you begin by explaining transitioning a portfolio for retirement? So it's a Fairly simple process for me because I've done it so many times, but it's the client we have to work with. And essentially we're trying to train them to go from an accumulation um, phase of their life to a distribution phase. We hear that all the time in our business, but the clients never have. And they're going to liquidate their assets. My job as a retirement planner is to, one, assure them that we can create income they can't outlive, and number two, make sure that they are active partners in the process because it's never static. So, Philip, do you think the 4% rule still makes sense? In my opinion, it works great in theory. Um, as all theories, it's in a vacuum. Life isn't static. Uh, the premise is if you start withdrawing 4% initially from your retirement account, and after that set a budget or an actual fixed amount you're going to withdraw, um, it works in theory. The problem is everything increases. We don't get to control the price of prescription drugs, groceries, gasoline, uh, even rent. So again, as our goal is to help people um, realize that this is gonna be an all hands on deck situation. You're, you're retiring, there's a lot of new pressures, a lot of things to consider, and we just really want to partner with our clients, let them know that that's uh, what we do. Now, how do you know when to start taking Social Security benefits? Well, again, that's all unique to every client. Um, there's so many variables with that. Uh, we're asked it all the time, and there really isn't any pat answer for that. It really depends on um, how many times you've been married. Honestly, we, we are uh, certified Social Security advisors in our office, but there's just no pat answer for that. But again, some people want to take it as early as they can because they don't know if it's going to be there or not. But you give up 40% if you do that. And 40% over the rest of your life is a lot of money. So our, uh, again, our, our focus has to be on that particular client, their situation. We can't go back 30 years and uh, allow them to accumulate more money. We have to deal with what they have, and Social Security does play a big part in that. Um, but again, their situation determines, at least from our perspective, when we advise them to take the income. Now talk about the importance of tax planning and retirement planning. I don't know if there's anything more important than tax planning, but it's often the least discussed component. So when most of our wealth in America is held in 401k plans. Um, the client sees their balance. I've got a good friend of mine, half a million dollars, $200,000, whatever that balance is, you have to almost cut that in half. And that's a real uh, eye opener for the client because they really have just been looking at the total balance without considering the fact that this has been a qualified arrangement with the government. And now Uncle Sam wants his cut. So again, we, we are only dealing with what the client has, but uh, with regard to tax planning, if you do it earlier, the better. Now, retirees are living much longer, and the numbers show that many people haven't saved enough. How do you address that problem? So I actually use, uh, partner with a company called Income for Life, but what we really do is focus on what the client does have. Um, we try to uh, work in the plan what they need, but again, we're dealing with what assets they've been able to set aside for themselves and create a guaranteed income plan that they can't outlive. Uh, we're going to take into consideration Social Security and whatever assets they have managed to set aside for themselves. But it's a, it's a big part of what we do. That's Philip White in Springfield, Missouri. Thanks for watching Retirement News Online.